you can have be an abstract and still have causal power. Okay, well, you, you can't. Um, because uh, in order for you to be... To That's be, your claim. If you're only abstract, you can't have any causal power. But just, just to say whatever you, you're uh, surmising is the case, you now have one Daniel who has these attributes of eternality and immortality, and then you have a thousand other things that are just like Daniel, in that they also share these attributes that only Daniel should have. So therefore... Uh, we, we'll say there's one Daniel. There's one Daniel, and also a thousand other things that are like Daniel. No, so, there's a thousand at attributes of Daniel. That's what I mean. They are distinct and eternal. Yeah, they're distinct, yeah. But they're still, it's still Daniel. And, and in your mind, it's still Daniel. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Sorry, it's still Daniel. So the attributes are still a law. No, the attributes of Daniel, these uh, these characteristics of Daniel, are Daniel. They're a part of me. So in the last case, it's still one Daniel. You know how you use the word part just now? It's still one Daniel. That's a sure. point. Sure. Uh, I'm not going to get a thousand Daniels just okay. because I have a thousand different so characteristics you're one, that are immortal. It's one Daniel made up of a thousand things. No, I have you, you a thousand said different attributes, a thousand different aspects, a thousand different whatever. Oh, sorry, so, sorry. No, if you, if no you want to say part, parts, you're yep. using part in this equivocal way. That's the thing. It, but aspects insinuates parts. Uh, an aspect of me is a part of me that is not equal to the whole. In the same way that me having the attribute of mercy or love yep. doesn't mean that there's a part of me, like a part of my mind, that is the anger part or the mercy part or the love part. Well, I, I'm not saying, we, that's what we started with. I'm remember? not trying to tell you to segment your mind, because don't forget, your mind is potentially infinite. It, it doesn't have any kind of concrete box around it, correct? So I'm not saying segment your mind in, into quadrants. I'm simply saying so what does that, it mean to be distinct? Uh, not, not, not the other. So in the same way that like uh, I am not you and you're not me, Yes, because we, we have two separate minds. We have two separate minds, but also a number Just of other like things. Just like the Father, Son, yeah. and Spirit have separate minds okay. according to so, Christian theology. We can, we can That's go, why there are three distinct we minds. Can, we can go into that That's now. That's why it's polytheism. We can go into that now, but just understand that by what you've just said here, unfortunately, you are admitting I that Allah is compartmentalized, I don't think so. and He has other things with Him that are also no. eternal. In the same so way that that's real I was immortal, I didn't die, imagine, yep. and I have different uh, characteristics, that are the same as you? Traits that wouldn't mean that I have there are multiple Daniels, Pers proven anything. personality traits, yeah, like anger, like mercy, like being uh, okay. loving, like being charitable, okay. like being uh, insightful, okay. or whatever, whatever and aspects of my personality that, that there are, right? They're attributes of me, okay. But one Daniel, one if Daniel, I was immortal, it doesn't change that one there being one Daniel, as long as the attributes themselves are also immortal or eternal in this case, yeah, there would be then. They are the same as you because they're not distinct from you. No, that's a jump. That's a leap. They, okay, so why would they be the same as me? So they're the same as you in that they also eternal and immortal. If I'm not immortal, they're so distinct from me, right? Think about it like yes, they are because they're, they're, they're not How you. does being immortal make them? Uh, so if if if, if I'm uh, if not you're immortal, immortal yep. I'm not immortal. Yep. My anger is distinct from me. Yep. We agree. Yep. Okay. But it's still one Daniel. Do we agree on that? Absolutely. But you but are. How does making me immortal? suddenly make it multiple Daniels because Allah in, in the last case he is necessary correct like he can't be any other way he has to be Allah because without him there's no, there's no creation or existence so you're arguing for divine simplicity divine simplicity is a position that some Muslims have not all Muslims yes you started by asking if I'm Salafi yep Salafis do not hold the position I'm aware of divine simplicity. and that's why you have this problem no we there was no problem there is a problem there was no problem the, no the problem still being again that your understanding of Allah calls this necessary parts of Allah to exist, meaning that either Allah is made up of things, meaning he's contingent, he different or aspects, different he, the, the aspects of the attributes have the qualities of Allah, so therefore you have Allah, who is the God of the universe, but also you have another God of the universe, Ar-Rahman, another God of the universe, Ar-Rahim. Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahman, or the attributes of Allah do not have every, uh, they don't have every attribute every... of Allah? Yeah, exactly. So, okay, so then that means that your position then is that Allah is Allah because he is one, but then he has these attributes that when you add them all up, then you get Allah. Why can't you address the example of me as a finite being having different attributes, okay. but it not being a multiplicity? Because Allah is, so, so uh, very simple, Allah is infinite, 
he's infinite. And you, as a creation of his, can be comfortably composite. It's okay to say that you're made up of no, parts. My mind is not comp composite in the way that you're describing. But it's created, so it's not eternal. How is that relevant? How is that relevant? Yeah, we should move on. This is a circle. Well, again, I made my position very, very clear. Unfortunately, because of, of, of your thinking, that is the case. However, uh, you said you wanted to ask me a question about Trinity. Well, I already explained that. You have uh, the so Father. Three the three father hmm? Can the Father think that I am the Son? So, the fa so there's a couple of problems with that. Answer, no. can the Father think I am the Son? What it makes be a you, simple no. Well, again, it depends. What makes you think that the Father has thoughts? <laughs> oh, so uh, God, according to you, doesn't have thoughts. What makes you think he does? I don't think he does. The Bible. The Bible is the expression uh, God is speaking, right? Right, but it is also... So when God speaks, okay. are those thoughts? Are they the okay. expression of God's right. thoughts or not? So, we're having a bunch of problems here. The first one <laughs> yeah, is... because you don't think that God thinks. Do Chris... No, no. no. Has God, God does not think. God no. does not think. God is eternally in the presence. Does God have a will? God has a will. Does God have it. knowledge? God has knowledge, yes. Okay, so but God I, has... I, I would does assume... Does the Father have the, the knowledge that I am the Son? Okay, so again... Does, does God have the knowledge that I am the Son? You're conflicting a few things. Why can't you right? say yes or no? Because what is your definition of knowledge? We're using key terms here. Uh, I see again, right? So the proposition like okay. the sky is blue, right? That's that's knowledge. Okay. Uh, water is wet. That is knowledge. Okay. I am Daniel. That is that's knowledge. knowledge. Okay. I am the Son. That is a point of knowledge. Okay. Does God the Father have the point of knowledge that I am the Son? I don't agree with your definition of knowledge because it creates issues, but even for God, with your with your definition, if if at some stage uh, the sky is blue, but then we go somewhere sand and it's orange. What would Allah say the color of the sky is? Yes, the sky can have multiple colors. Right, right, right. I, I but, can wait, 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 but if we ask the law right now, that is, what that is the color? That my definition it, of it, knowledge. It does, it does, because your, yours is dependent upon things occurring before they can be true. So if, if things can occur and there's still a point of knowledge, things can change and there's still a part so of knowledge. If we ask the law right now, what is the color of the sky? What would he say? This, it depends on what the color is. Right, right here is blue, but in right the, here, yeah. So right but here, in, in the desert, it will be orange. has the knowledge that the sky here is blue. Yes. Okay, but if we asked him what is the color of the sky on Earth, what would he say? There is multiple different colors. If it's okay. a nighttime, it's going to be black. And if it's a uh, if there's a sandstorm, it's going to be orange. What's okay. your point? That's the problem with your definition of knowledge. I would say that that's a problem. What's the problem? The problem being that nothing is true. Well, if if God knows all true things only in a propositional manner, then there are certain things that will be added to his knowledge later onwards. For example, in the future, if human beings can teleport, if we ask Allah right now, can human beings teleport, he would say no, because it is true that we can't. In the future, right now, yeah. but in the future if we can, then something gets added to Allah's knowledge no. that we can. No, God has knowledge of the past, present, and future. It's all encompassed in God's knowledge. But you said this is, a, this is a ridiculous. You said by knowledge, proposition. Knowledge. Can you understand the expression "I am the Son"? Okay. Can you, can you understand that? Then does that make sense? To move on. I am the Son. Does that make sense? To move on one step further. I am the Son. Does that make sense? I would define I knowledge. Am the son. If you're not going to answer, no. I'm going to walk no, away. No, no, no. Wait, I'm going to walk away. What, I am the what, Son. We're going to get somewhere. Sense? Does that? We're going to get somewhere. That sentence makes sense. It's ambiguous. No, no, no. It's ambiguous. I am the Son. Is ambiguous. Yes. How? What son of what? A, a, a person. I am the son of God. Okay. Is that? Does that make sense? Yes or no? Okay. Does Again, that make sense? Yes or no? From a Christian point does of view, it does. Yes or no? Okay, you we can't answer those. my question. No. I from a Christian, question, wait. You didn't answer Daniel, one question Daniel, I, you, I am going answer. to ask you a question. I am the son of from God. From a does Christian that make point sense? of view, yes. Now, let me yes, tell you what I mean by knowledge. I, I, I fully, yes, I am. So yes. then it makes sense to you. Yes. I am the son of God. Makes sense. That is a point of knowledge. Can the father have the point of knowledge? I am the son of God. We need to agree on knowledge. Can the father have the thought, I am the son of God, or the point of knowledge that I am the son of God? Yes or no? Very simple yes as this. Yes or no? The answer will yes be no. Yes or no? The answer is no. The answer is no because of this. Okay. Can knowledge. The son, can the son have the Daniel, point of knowledge? I am the Daniel, son of God. Daniel, let me. Can the son have the point of knowledge? Let me. Can the son have the point of knowledge? Let me. Can the son have the point of knowledge? Let
son have the twenty knowledge that I am the son me. of God? Yes or no? Very simple. Yes or no? Knowledge. Yes or no? Can the son possessing. can the son have the point of knowledge that I am Daniel, the son of God? Daniel, let's answer, have this devolve. Answer the question. Let's make You're it devolve. You're not answering the question. I answered your question just the now, father, Daniel. Then you asked me a new one. Let me clarify why. The point of knowledge. I am the son of God. Daniel, but the son does have the point of knowledge. That I am the Daniel, son of God. Daniel, let me clarify why. Minds and they're Daniel, you're running on a script. Let me tell you why. You can't address the script. That's I am going to. That's the problem. Allow me. All Christian apologetics. You can't get around this. Daniel, argument. I wish you want to. Huh? I want to get around this. Can you let me? Go ahead. Thank you, Daniel. For your first question, the reason I don't agree is because I don't agree that God only knows things propositionally. I would say, with, 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 uh, with like Aristotelian philosophy, for example, that knowledge is possessing an understanding of the form of a thing without becoming that, that thing. That is how God can know all things at all times without them becoming a thing. God can know all about a tree without becoming the tree. So, yes, in the same way, with the Father, the Father can have knowledge that He is not the Son without becoming the Son and vice versa with the Son. But if the Father only knew things in a positional manner, then at some stage in time, then He could say, okay, fine, well, maybe I can also become a turtle because now I know I can because the, the opportunity has, has come to be. If, so if, that, the that's father, the if the father uh, had the point of knowledge that I am the son of God, that would be false. Because he's the father, right? Right. right. If but the son has the knowledge that something. I am the son of God, that would be true. Right. But Therefore, they cannot both be true at the same time. They're two distinct minds. Right. Here's the right, problem. Right. Thank you. No. Thank you. Right as in you're correct, but I understand what you're saying. But this is the problem. You're presupposing that God only knows things from a propositional manner, which is problematic. As the it has nothing to do with propositional uh, your, your, knowledge. Your, your argument would be God it's knows a all, about what all reality things. is. And what it, it's a statement about what reality is. The Father? I am the Son of God, you said, makes sense. Yes. It makes sense. From a Christian so point if, of view. If, if the Father says that I am the Son of God, that would be untrue. That, it would be untrue. Right? Yes. Because the Father is fully aware. It's true or it untrue. Is not. It's, about, it's, it, it's distinct. Because the same point of knowledge that the Son has, that I am the Son of God would be true. If the Father said it, it's false. If the Son says it, it's true. So that's identity statements about the Father and the Son. There have to be two distinct persons. And they are two distinct persons. We, yeah, we, we two are distinct minds. Exactly. No, one mind. What? No, okay, it's the father. Okay. It's the father. No, wait. So if you're two distinct minds, that's a problem. Let me, let me, you know. I, no, what are you saying? Let me not have a divorce. I am the son of God. Give me one thing. I am God. I am God. Sorry, Daniel. 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 I, okay, well. Yeah, let's go because this is going in circles. Okay, so well, you made your point. I made my point. Okay, all right. Well, uh, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. But your God has parts, unfortunately. Yeah, your Trinity makes absolutely no sense. It does, unfortunately. If you read more into it, that's fine. Well, thanks, Daniel. Appreciate it. Um, you heck of a guy out of here. Yep. So, yep. Sure thing. Maybe. Yep. Okay. Daniel Pikachu. So, ultimately, there's a problem that Sunnis have in particular with their conception of who Allah is. First of all, sh shout out to my Ustad Sig and uh, and Apologia. Hopefully, when they'll see this, they'll, they'll, they'll hear the shout out. Ultimately, uh, this is a problem that they've identified where in the classical Sunni understanding of who Allah is, they are incapable of properly describing how Allah's attributes are in relation to Allah Himself. So, are they parts of Him? Are they the whole of Him? Daniel couldn't quite understand it. Daniel couldn't quite answer it. The problem is it's as follows. You have Allah, who is the one God of the universe. You have His 99 plus attributes. Very well. Now, are His attributes the same thing as Allah? Most students will say no. They will say that they are aspects of Him, which is the same thing as saying that Allah has parts. If anything has a part, then it's not necessary because the parts could be other than they actually are. Allah, if he's the God of the universe, is quote-unquote necessary in that he could not be other than he is, but his attributes have to also then be necessary. Because if they're not, then Allah has contingent things that he relies on to communicate with human beings. That's one problem. Second problem would be, if they are necessary along with Allah, then now you have 99 necessary, non-contingent, non-abstract, things in reality that are also eternal just like Allah but 
aren't the same as Allah because they're distinct. So you have Allah, you have Al Rahman, you have Al Rahim, you have Al Waris, you have Al Haq, and they are all eternal and they are all distinct and they are all also essentially, by that instance, God. Then he tried to move on to a trinity and attack a trinity as a form of identity. So the problem here is that his understanding of what knowledge is, is, is something called propositional. He thinks that God or his God can only know all things that are true. And that is a horrible way of describing God's knowledge because then things come into being at a certain point in time. For example, before there was any creation, did God know that there was a creation? Ultimately, if you hold that, that position, then the answer will be no. Because it didn't exist, that would then mean that God didn't know about it. Now, when God created a thing, then he must have added things to his knowledge, which we hold is not the case because God is omniscient. And so he attempted to then say that if that is the case, that then the father should know that he is not the son and the son should know he's not the father. I agreed with this and told him that they are distinct, but at that point he kind of lost the plot and then he ran away. But ultimately I told him that what knowledge is, is possessing an understanding of the form of a thing, but without becoming that thing itself. Therefore, the father can possess an understanding of who the son is without becoming the son and then vice versa with the son and the father. But ultimately, Daniel, this is in Daniel's area of his expertise and he just made a bunch of statements that are a little bit shirky because he called the attributes of Allah an aspect which are the equivalent of a parts. So now he's admitting that his God is made up of parts like a giant Lego brick. So again, okay. Thank you. Shout, shout out to him for, for, for actually uh, and seeing the, the uh, conversation. It's not really his, his wheelhouse. He, he's more into conspiracy and, uh, and um, other kinds of polemics. But ultimately, you can see that, that the folly in the Sunni understanding of who God is. And they don't show that for a time. Okay, okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Sorry.